5% of the government's revenue. If we were to lose that, how far back would we have to cut the government in order to do that? Would it go back to 1932 levels? No. 2004 levels. Do you think we could live with that? Do you think we could live without a government that sends MRAPs to all of our police departments, that doesn't put cameras on every corner, that doesn't create $3 billion blimps to uh, hover over us? Do you think we could get rid of some of the things that we've put into our government since 2004 and live without having a personal income tax at all? Let's go for a flat rate of zero. And the way we do that is we get government back to its constitutional limits. It's wrong to take this out of Social Security. Huckabee was right about this when he says it's not an economic issue, it's a moral issue. If you're going to lie to people, if you're going to tell them you're going to take 15% of their income for their entire working life, and then you say, now we're going to not give it to you. Because there's other aspects of Social Security that make it insolvent. Of course, part of it is the entitlements. There are entitlements built into Social Security for people who are not paying into it as a retirement fund. And then the federal government is using it as their own personal slush fund, borrowing from Social Security, using the money for other things. Let's not break faith with what we're doing on with retirees at the end of their life. That is absolutely immoral. And in the past, they've talked about privatization, but evidently that is off the table. We are told that at one point in time, well, let's talk about giving people the option to invest their money themselves. And of course, that in and of itself is problematic because they would force you to invest your money in Wall Street. How about if they let us keep that 15% and apply that to our mortgages? Do you realize that even if you were in at the maximum amount that a bank will allow you to borrow on a home, 40% as a, as a debt limit on your home mortgage, if you were to take that 15% and apply it, even if you were leveraged to the max on your home mortgage, you could turn your 30-year mortgage into a 15-year mortgage. They wouldn't like that, though, would they? Because if you did that, you wouldn't be in debt to the banks. You would start to build capital on your own. You would get out of debt. No, they want you to put your money and they want you to borrow money from the banks, and if you've got any money left over, they want to force you to put it into the Wall Street casino. And Donald Trump nailed that precisely when he went after Kasich for his Lehman Brothers experience. Now, he got the title wrong. He wasn't, a, he wasn't on the board, but what he said about Kasich was fundamentally right. He got over a half million dollar bonus as everybody was going down the tubes. And one of the ways that he got this, if you look at this story from International Business Times, one of the ways that he did it was by pushing state pension funds to invest into risky investments where they lost money. And both Kasich and Jeb Bush were trading their influence, not as lobbyists, but as something that was not regulated. That's the underhandedness of it. Coming up, the Department of Energy tries to scare us for Halloween, blaming climate change on smashing pumpkins. Sorry, Billy Corgan. Your liver can be full of fatty deposits, built up toxins, and even dangerous objects known as liver stones. We worked with the top developers in the field of detox to take tried and true herbs and other compounds known to safely cleanse the liver and fuse it with the latest research and technological development on concentrating these ingredients to give you the maximum effect. Liver Shield is the only liver support product on the market that uses a patented Spigerex blend of powerful organic herbs that support detoxification. And when you visit InfoWars Life, Com. See the instructional video on how to do a six-day liver detox. This isn't a game, and let me tell you, the results are dramatic. Liver Shield is totally organic and made of the safest high-quality herbs. But that said, you need to consult your physician before you do the full detox. Liver Shield can also be used daily by itself for overall upkeep of the liver. Secure your Liver Shield today exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com for the lowest price available. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash and gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. 
We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. And it's that type of behavior that spurred me to do the research to develop a true nutraceutical formula that was designed to smooth out and help children focus. All of our children are hit with modern mind control. Television, music, fast food, GMOs, sugars, you name it. Young humans have not yet developed their nervous system and are being hammered daily by globalist concoctions. It's no wonder they can't focus and calm down and then are put on dangerous psychotropic drugs. Working with my team, we set out to find the best formula with the highest quality ingredients that children would actually like and take. We worked with the leading manufacturer in nutritional supplements that are safe for children to bring you the most affordable and powerful calming formula out there. Introducing Child Ease with herbs and calming extracts like chamomile and lemon balm and essential nutrients that taste great. Obtain your Child Ease today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's Child Ease exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockouts it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. Well, just in time for Halloween, the Department of Energy is doing its best to frighten everyone as usual. Now they're telling us that smashing pumpkins are responsible for climate change. Not, not the group, uh, but the action of smashing pumpkins. Yes, they say that more than 1.3 billion pounds of pumpkins are produced in the U.S. And guess what? They eventually get thrown away. They decompose and they turn into a natural gas called methane, and that's destroying the world. No, I don't think so. That's why we call them alarmists, but also they are humorless bureaucrats. Look at their Halloween costumes that they have at the Department of Energy's site. Five energy Halloween costumes you can make at home. Take a look at these. You can dress up as solar panels. Oh, or you can dress up as Ernest Moniz. Who's that, you may ask? Well, that's their Secretary of Energy. Yes, you can dress like one of their bureaucrats, the chief bureaucrat. As a matter of fact, one of the ingredients that they list for this is you need a stylish founding father's wig. I guess he's a founding father of, <laughs> of this new bureaucracy that we have of their replacement government. Or you could be an energy vampire. You know, you just dress up like a vampire, but you add extension cords so that people know that you're sucking up energy. I think they've got that reverse. I think you need to dress up like a vampire if you're going to be the uh, Secretary of Energy's department. Uh, or a particle accelerator. Or you could be a wind turbine. Now this is the one that I think is the biggest epic fail, the wind turbine. I mean, you dress up in that thing, you're not gonna be able to walk or move. You are literally a pushover. It looks like uh, the, the scene from A Christmas Story where Ralphie's little brother's uh, in that heavy-duty coat and he can't put his arms down and he gets pushed over and he can't get back up. You know, um, I don't know. But I guess these, these beer cats really know how to party. You know what? If you really want to scare them, then dress up like the Founding Fathers. Start reading the Declaration of Independence to them about swarms of bureaucrats who harass our people and eat out their substance. They will probably run away like they were vampires uh, when you hold a cross up or something, and then they'll call the SWAT team on you. But don't worry, 
because as the FBI director, James Comedy, that's the way uh, the Daily Mail printed his name, James Comey, the way he said, you know, if uh, the FBI and, and the police are afraid to get out of their SWAT team cars and their armored personnel carriers because people have cell phones. They're so intimidated by us that they're afraid to do anything, and so the crime rate is soaring. Well, actually, from the figures, they're not, the crime rates are not soaring, and we can see from over and over again that they're not afraid of us. But they are trying to get us afraid of global warming. Look at this story that came out just recently, uh, within the last couple of days. Uh, this was on Monday. Global bishops are calling for complete decarbonization by 2050. Bishops launched a global appeal this last Monday for a breakthrough at the upcoming Paris climate talks, including a complete decarbonization of the world's economy and more help for poor countries battling the effects of climate change, because, you know, climate change is going to affect the poor the most heavily. Listen, this is where we have the fight of our life coming up next. We've lost the fight to get a conservative speaker in. We lost the fight for the Trade Promotion Authority. They will be able to possibly, when they come up in December, ram through some kind of a mandatory climate scheme. That's what they're looking for. This is coming up in December. It's coming up in Paris. They say the November 30th to December 11th conference in Paris will be the culmination of six years of scheming, I'm sorry, work, since the ill-fated 2009 Copenhagen Climate Summit, which failed to lock down significant agreements. But now they have the, thanks to Boehner, thanks to the GOP, they have the uh, Trade Promotion Authority that will allow them to ram through these uh, treaties without really any scrutiny or any modification. They say five days of negotiation and bond last week underscored deep divisions, including disagreements over who should pay for renewable energy sources and who should be tasked with making sure countries uphold their green pledges precisely because it's going to be a global tax and they're going to have to have some kind of a global governance regime to enforce this. That's the whole point. It's a pretense for global governance. Now, John Bound has something that should really scare you. Yes, the spooks, the spies, really are listening. And that's what we learned from the recent passing of CISA. They're going to do even more of it, and they're going to do it without any legal restrictions. Here's that report. You may have noticed CISA, a version of the cybersecurity bill passed in Congress with the Senate voting 74 to 21 to pass it, all in the name of a cyber defense to protect the American people and more importantly, big business from hackers. And that's all you need to know, America. Go back to sleep. What they didn't tell you was the NSA and big business slipped a Trojan horse past the American people once again to allow them to spy on you. Yes, you. Wired Magazine reports privacy advocates and civil liberties groups see CISA as a free pass that allows companies to monitor users and share their information with the government without a warrant while offering a backdoor that circumvents any laws that might protect users' privacy. The incentive and the framework it creates is for companies to quickly and massively collect user information and ship it to the government, says Mark Jaycox, legislative analyst for the Electronic Frontier Foundation. As soon as you do, he continues, you obtain broad immunity, even if you violated privacy law. Even the Department of Homeland Security agrees that the latest CISA bill could sweep away many important privacy protections. Breitbart reports, Senator Ron Wyden, Democrat of Oregon, a Democrat who recently allied with Senator Rand Paul to water down provisions of the Patriot Act, said the bill virtually guarantees that private information unrelated to cybersecurity will be shared with the government and said that the bill was a direct pipeline to the NSA. Even with the manager's amendment, the core privacy issues are not being dealt with. The fact is, it is voluntary for companies. It will be mandatory for their customers. And the fact is, the companies can participate without the knowledge and consent of their customers, and they are immune from customer oversight and lawsuits if they do so. During the voting process of CISA, the Senate rejected all of the privacy amendments that would have protected average citizens' right to privacy. But how exactly did they do that? 
Detector breaks down the geek speak, detailing the NSA's unconstitutional desperation to collect data related to innocent law-abiding Americans. The NSA and FBI, and CIA for that matter, frequently make use of backdoor searches of the upstream data, a capability that was approved in 2011. Basically, the rules changed so that the intelligence community could sniff through data that was deemed collected incidentally.